good afternoon all. This is Sukrishna Bhaisekhi. So in today's seminar session, we will discuss about work life cycle. So uh, when this work cycle will come? So after the testing, testers have uh, completed the testing. So uh, when they got the any bug, any uh, mismatching, they, if they found means, so they will report the bug in a bug log. We know that. So after reporting in that bug log, what will be the uh, steps will be taken and how that uh, bug is rectified and been uh, uh, again come to uh, functionality means so what are the functions will be happen functionalities will be happen on the bug we, we will discuss about in the bug life cycle so in the first phase when the tester found a bug then after report, uh, he will report that thing in the bug log so then the bugs uh, uh, in, in the bug log uh, he update the status as new so that uh, the new bug is raised so we have to uh, rectify this bug and um, find the functionalities of the uh, functionality to match the functionalities for its application for its requirement and all. So once the um, once the status of the bug is uh, opened or uh, as the mentioned as new, then that bug is reported to the development development team's project manager. So here the development team project manager will verify that bug and he evaluates that bug and uh, see whether the bug is a valid bug or not. If he found that bug is not valid, that it's not a bug that it says some, something, uh, it was something that re a requirement has to be done on the uh, further sessions or it was not a rectifiable uh, bug means, if it is not that uh, valid bug means, then the developer project, project developer, uh, project team, uh, uh, I mean, project manager of the developing team will update the st uh, status of that bug as not, as, not a bug. But this, this, uh, this status will be uh, then the bug will be closed here if it was not a valid bug. No, in the in another option, if it was if it was a valid bug, then the further they will check that was this bug is already raised, already raised. That means so is it an existing bug or not? If it was an existing bug, means uh, it was already raised by some other some other testers on the on the same uh, on the same application, but it's already uh, it's already under the process means. So under the process or not, so they will check that whether the new uh, updated status of the bug, uh, new status of the bug uh, is already existing or not. If it was existing, then there is uh, they won't uh, further uh, they won't forgo the um, they won't go for the further things that uh, they will close the bug as duplicate. So here the bug is closes here the bug cycle closes when uh, when the raised new bug is existing. No, if we, uh, if it was in other case, if it was not a existing bug, it's a new then it will be checked for delayed process. Uh, in this process, things that uh, uh, is it uh, based on the severity and priority of that bug. We know that severity and priority is. So what are severity and priorities? We have high priority and uh, higher, low, uh, low priority, high severity and low severity. Yes, means uh, based on those things. If the bug is high priority and high severity, that means the application can't be further move or further application can't work means that then the bug has to be immediately has to be rectified or immediately bug has to be fixed. No, if, if it is not that, if it is not that thing that the, uh, the severity and priority are severe, low. It uh, the bug is the bug won't affect the application's uh, uh, movement or the application's performance. Then that bug will be kept in a queue to uh, fix it. So in that in that position, uh, the team will the team will update the status of that bug as deferred deferred. So in deferred bugs, there is some other case also. Even if they were, uh, even the raised bug is uh, high priority and high severity, but there are some other uh, already existing bugs uh, which are in a queue for its rectifications, which are more higher priority and high severity than the new bug. So in that case also, the bug will be kept in a queue and it was and it was updated the status as deferred bug. Okay then. So uh, if this thing is delayed, means the updated the status of that bug will be deferred. So no, it was not the, uh, the it was a very uh, severe bug and uh, there are no other uh, delayed bugs. There are no other bugs uh, has to be fixed before this thing happened. Then the further step will be the bug will be assigned. The, uh, the status of the bug will be kept as assigned. That means they it was it was assigned to some other developer, some developer that he said it has to be fixed and fixed end. So once the status of the bug is assigned, means it will be assigned to a developer. For its um, based on its requirement, it has to be fixed and uh, the it, it should come back uh, come back to its functionality based on the requirement. Then 
uh, once the developer starts uh, refixing the fixing the bug means then uh, developer uh, developer himself updates the status uh, status of the bug in uh, bug log as a uh, status open so uh, so then what is this status open means it was it states that uh, defect, uh, the defect is defect or the bug is getting rectified or uh, our work here where the development team is working to rectify it to to bring it to uh, require bring it uh, bring it to work working based on the requirements so after the development team fixes the bug based on the requirement and based on their uh, knowledge and all if the bug is uh, fixed and uh, it uh, then the status will be updated as fixed so here fixed means we can't uh, we can't uh, release the bug or we can't uh, leave the bug here in this status only fixed only it, uh, uh, come to coming to here based on again reading about the requirements and all he, he fixes the bug but we need to uh, we need to retest the thing that it should uh, is it, uh, is that uh, is that application uh, is working based on the requirement or not any or any or any further mismatching or for mismatching is happening or not has to be seen and uh, so for that thing the, the again the retest has to be done for the application or the bug so in this retest means we will again uh, based on the requirements we have we, we will retest the thing that uh, that is uh, so now we know that uh, in testing we have a equation that expectation ha always expectation has to match the equal match the expe uh, expectation has to ma match the actuality so if the in this in this position if expectations are not equal to actual means it can be called as a, a negative and if it was equals to uh, actual means it, it was positive so uh, in the retest we get positive reports means the status of that bug will be updated as closed so if it was not uh, if, it, if we got a negative reports or a negative a negative feedbacks from that uh, in the retest means again the bug has to be reopened so the, again the bug the bug will be sent to the status as open that means the developer has to read uh, re has to refix the bug based uh, based on the requirements and all so from if the status is again open means the developer the same cycle happens here that developer again has to fix the bug he should update the status as fixed and they again retest has to be done until and unless the positive reports uh, uh, got on the retest the, the bug will be the cycle will be rotates in, in, in this uh, block so in this block the cycle will be rotates and once the positive reports uh, one the positive reports are po or uh, um, valid reports are uh, got satisfying this equation of expectation is equal to actually the status of the bug will be closed here so we can say that uh, can we say the status is closed means the, the bug is resolved or not uh, there are, is there any are there any further steps has to be done has to be go on with this thing for with that bug bug so it means not because we may have fixed the bug but based on the fixing we may have some made some alterations and all so based on uh, with that uh, that alterations was that application behaving uh, 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 what we call abnormal based on uh, abnormal disturbing all the other modules which were linked with which were linked or integrated with this uh, with this uh, um, bug so for that thing we have to conduct a regression test so we know what, what is regression test so was that was the fixed bug is so was the fixed bug is uh, disturbing any existing modules means existing modules are not so this is what a regression test means so if the bug is uh, in the regression test if the bug, if the bug is not behaving abnormal with the other modules which was integrated for it so then we can say that the bug is the bug is full of, uh, the bug is fixed and uh, we can make this uh, yeah, we can make update the bug log as finished otherwise if we got any uh, if, if any other negative values are regression test, testing reports are failed means they, then from here again the bug has to be opened and again they, they has to develop a team, and team has to work on the bug and again all these things has to be done and until and unless at the at the end the regression test uh, the reports of regression test we get positive means uh, uh, positive means the bug is completely uh, finalized or uh, completely fixed if not the cycle has to be rotated rotate, uh, until it until we get the positive reports in the regression test so this was about the bug life cycle uh, in manual testing 
सो थैंक यू